hello guys and welcome to a brand new video so i'm back with another reaction to another one of the lupan series uh, movie series and i'll today i'll be reacting to Lu lupan 3 the legend of the gold of babylon or lupan uh, babylon no ogon densetsu now um from like in the previous uh, week i reacted to uh, the mystery of mamo and it was great i really loved it and i'm kind of doing it uh by i'm guessing airing date no i think so at least so i think this is the third movie of uh the lupan movie series and the, uh, the second one was cariostro which i had already reacted to before so this is the third movie now there's someone who uh told me in the comment section that this this is a movie that is probably a lot weaker um than the other movies but no, like uh, usually like uh, it's very difficult for me uh, like for any anime to actually make me not like it like that's one thing like I, I look at every anime be it movie or anything in a very like you know what can I say like I usually do not get uh, what can I uh, what can I say like like annoyed or don't like any anime uh, that I can say like every anime be it trashy or whatever I try to look at it in a positive light and i kind of enjoy each and everything so i doubt like uh, like you know like this movie can like you know this might be weak i'm not sure i've not watched it but i can also see the ratings is quite low here but this might be weak but i'm sure like you know i won't have any problem with it so not to worry about that like i usually like you know don't take these type of things much seriously like anime is here to make us enjoy ourselves like if we like go critical on it too much like it kind of defeats the point of it but there are obviously exceptions which for anime that i also do not like there are a few exceptions like ultimate trash animes that like you know people won't even watch and uh, there are a few exceptions so those are different but these these are like you know like these animes which are a little bit weaker or uh, or something i don't have any problem with that because i've watched even worse anime you know <laughs> then six point this has a 6.5 rating on uh, my anime list i've watched even what can i say worse anime than that and i still enjoyed myself like five rating animes i've watched <laughs> five or four and like you know like yeah so not to worry about that like i really like lupan in itself like the characters are amazing like each and every character has such a unique uh what can i say quality like they really seem as if they're different people like no copy cut, uh, cut uh, paste type of personality everyone has one unique thing about them and everyone has a completely different personality but it really like you know what can i say is amazing how all of them with such different personalities and such different way of life kind of are together and doing stuff together like you know they're kind of like friends so <laughs> yeah like that's like you know i really love that thing and the comedy is hilarious i really love the comedy <laughs> so yeah anyways that was a long introduction so let's get started with this one uh, this is babylon no ogon densetsu or uh, the legend of the gold of babylon i think yeah i think so yeah the legend of the gold of babylon so yeah without further ado let's get started so all right so let's uh, get started i'll be putting the uh, subtitles and the timer over here sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started with this video so all right so here's the countdown Three, two, one, go. Okay. All right. <clears throat> oh. Wow. Wow, this song is really 
Wow, this is a great song. Excuse me. <coughs> okay. Wow, it's like, it's like, sketched. Whoa, what the? Who is this? Um, is that an old lady? I think so. Yeah. Is that a song or something? I don't know. Let me know, is that like a song or is that like a poem or something? Well, Monster Club. Damn, she's drunk as hell. Oh, everyone has like monster mask or something? Yeah. She's not wearing a mask. <laughs> uh, is that Goemon? No, wait. No, that's not Goemon. Jean. Jean and Wit. What the? Is that like a deliberate? Chin and Willy. <laughs> Vivid monster. All right. No, oh, a werewolf and a orc. What? That's not Jigen and Goemon. Wow. So they're trying to impersonate them. <laughs> they look, look nothing like Jigen and Goemon. Oh my god. Damn. Okay. What do you do in these type of situations? Pause. Rosetta. Okay. Huh. Quick delivery. Damn. Just the moves. Zenia. <laughs> Tulu Lupan. Wait, that's Lupan? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, I should have listened to his voice. 
Oh no, this might this might be a trap. Oh, <laughs> then he got that. <laughs> oh my. What the? Wait, what? What? <laughs> wow. Oh my god, he's going to take the mot other motorbike. Oh no, those guys, they want <laughs> they wanted to catch Rupan but Oh, here they are. <laughs> the original ones. Oof. Mata kudaran mono kitte shimatta. Oh, so <laughs> All right. Oh, what's, what's that? Shooting star? Whoa, what the? Whoa, whoa, what? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> wow, they both have amazing control. <laughs> oh, oh no, he's losing control of it, but it's fine. And he has to keep an eye on his hat as well. That's kind of a problem. Goddess of victory. Well, they're betting. <laughs> they're betting. Hundred is one. God. came up from the eye oh what um <laughs> oh Oh, wait, do oh. <laughs> okay, look, look, okay. <laughs> there you go, Rupan went one. I think so at least. <laughs> oh my god, this reminded me of Tom and Jerry, you know? I used to watch it when I was a kid. There was like an episode where in the eye, like you know, they're kind of running around. Anyways. Whoa, who is this? Fancy car? Whoa.
Long arm. Wal Walski. What? What were they even doing here? Like, just came to like. <laughs> <coughs> oh, Fujiko. She's also betting. I bet on Rupan. Wait, what? If he loses, we are through. <laughs> Wait. Wait, he has. She has Zenigatas. What? Oh, there you go. That was her plan. That was her plan. <laughs> and she has Zenigata's uh, uh, bed slips. Oh! Oh, come on, you have a scissor or something? Oh no. Oh. What is this? <laughs> Oh my god, this reminds me of a lot of Tom and Jerry. Like, you know? Like, these type of jokes and stuff. Like, they're very much... Wait, did Fujiko lose, that means? She has a lot of Zenigata slips. Uh... Both lost. <laughs> wow. Uh. Oh, run. <laughs> My God. Whoa. Oh. 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 Oh no. <laughs> well, there you go. Rupan won. Oh my god, that was something. Oh boy. Uh. Wait, this voice, this is Rupan's voice, isn't it? Scaffolding. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> good. Whoa. Damn. What about the fourth time? God. Boy. Uh, um. Oh my God. 
Ah. <laughs> okay, let's go to sleep. Oh my god, I think Fujiko is there or something's going to happen. Oh no! Wait, wait, what happened? Wait, why is she here? Oh, she was just drunk. She was just drunk, okay. <laughs> Man. What? <laughs> Um, hello? What? <laughs> what? Oh god. Um... Um... <laughs> okay, you're drunk. Wait, she was talking about paying him back? What? <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. Hmm. Hmm. Some kind of treasure or something? Yeah. God appeared. The wealth of Whoa! Oh, oh! Oh my god. Uh, okay. Gene and Willy. No. <laughs> My God. Wait, what? Wait, what's happening? Wait, there was like a transparent. Oh, glass. <laughs> Nice, bulletproof glass. <laughs> There's another pun, Kintama and... I think so at least. Um... <laughs> they're also here. Wait, did she run away with the money or something? 
Is the money still there? Oh, okay. she herself ran away, I think. I thought she like, you know, took the money uh, with her. Wow. Hmm. This is a clue, I think. Ooh. Oh, she knew that. What's in it? Wow. Hmm. Oh. Oh, this guy. <laughs> Long arm. Golden coffin. Oh boy. Well, organization. What? Oh, God, this guy is. Oh. Is she like going back for the yeah <laughs> ring? <laughs> oh no. And yeah. Oh I wonder who that is. Open sesame. That's a okay. Control of this territory. Of... Eight thousand. Okay. Hmm. Play tablets. Uh... Hmm. Oh. 
Oh, okay, okay. That's why he said that it's been going on for a while. Oh! Oh no, yeah, okay. And it stopped again. Yeah, okay. And I'm guessing the excavating work stopped. Oh. Kowalski. Hmm. Oh, oh my God, these are all okay. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, the, I think these are the inscriptions. Yeah, the, the things that they found. <laughs> 50 40 okay 10 more left <clears throat> oh <laughs> Inverse character. <laughs> he didn't know that. Boy. Um. <laughs> she snapped a picture or something. Oh boy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa! Calm down, dude. Whoa! <laughs> It's the similar thing that Lupin did before. Oh my! <laughs> that was him. Oh my god! Wait, it's, he's wearing glasses. Oh, that was for the nose. Okay. <laughs> nice! Oh my god! <laughs> so that was that had been him from the beginning. Not the beginning, but from the middle, I think. So where is Fujiko? Still in her room or something? <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Okay, let's, <laughs> what did you <say>? Oh my god. <laughs> nice, let's see. Yeah, let's hear this. <laughs> oh! Come on, you're destroying the property of... <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. 
Poor Zenigata. He just wants to catch Rupan and. Ah. What? Okay. I wonder if Fujiko will be here. She always like. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the t oh. They're taking too much time up on the stage. Each and every one of them. Oh my god. Aranda. <laughs> okay. Who's from Japan? Oh no, this is international. Okay. Winner. Italy. Lasagna. <laughs> Whoa. Damn, everyone's mad. <laughs> oh my god. Yo! <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh my god. He's crying. Take some things. What? <laughs> wow, what is this? <laughs> She's making sounds. Hmm. Out of that. Hmm. Hmm. Mm, okay. <clears> hmm, <throat> okay. Oh, he's not... Wait, he's not going to be... Wait, wait, wait. He's not a it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, at least he's in. Wait.
Hmm. Is there like a pattern or something? Oh, Re her name was Rebecca, wasn't it? No, what was his, her name? Rosetta. Who's <laughs> Alex? Alexander? Oh my god! Yeah. What? Yeah. Wait, how old is she? <laughs> uh. Oh, maybe she knows something. Um, <laughs> oh, my not God, not again. Oh, the candle. Stand up. Um. Huh. Oh. <laughs> Dark holes. <laughs> um <laughs> Oh Hey. Is this some kind of hint to that? The song that she's singing. The three score miles and ten, some some kind of a code. <laughs> Hmm. Oh no. God, what the hell? Oh. Oh! Oh god, not again. Here's a flamethrower! Okay, that is a hint! Oh! Yo! Oh god. Zen got the in there? I don't think so. Oh boy, it's like a f
Oh! <sighs> I jump in the water or something. Oh, okay. Maybe he's in, in there. Yeah. <sighs> oh. Oh, he got him as well. Oh, yeah. Get that back and run. Oh my god. What what's with that range? That flamethrower does not have that much range. Or maybe it has. Oh, oh my god. Well. <laughs> that was lucky for him. Oh. Oh, Rupan was there. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, going on is here. <laughs> Whoa, what's he doing? Is he trying to slash the lightning or something? Boy, what? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, Chin and Willy. Hmm. Oh, is that Zenigata? Yeah. <laughs> and the ladies. <laughs> where, where are the others? Like Zeningata, uh, not Zeningata. Oh, my, oh, ah, oh, <laughs> that's all he can say. Oh, oh, oh nice. Nice. Um. <laughs> this is knocked them out. Wow. <laughs> okay, there they are. I was thinking, where were they? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh, they they're all of, all of them are here.
Oh my god. Okay. A special sleeping drug. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god, who is this? Yeah. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Oh <laughs> God Yo Oh Ah Okay Okay she got Oh Oh my god, slipping gas. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh my. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Oh no! Okay! Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Go on! Okay, none of them. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Run! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Took him in. Okay, calm down. Now's not the time. God! Yeah, they're outside. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, get in. <laughs> okay. She's... Uh -oh. Oh, nice. Look at that. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Give a little tickle. A little tickle. A little tickle. Oh, he's. There you go. A little tickle will do. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> um. <laughs> Not <a mess. laughs> Oh. Okay. Oh boy. <sighs> okay, here we go. Woo.
Oh my god, it crashed on the train. Okay. Uh. Hmm. My god. Look at that. Oh my god, is this the... Yeah, it's the lady. Road set. What's she doing here? Okay. Okay, they're in Babylon now. This <coughs> <Excuse> me. <coughs> No, when did when did Fujiko come here? Hmm. Tower of Babylon. No, Tower of Babel. Sorry. Oh. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Boy. Okay, so Yeah. Oh, it's underground. Okay, interesting. With this like stairs leading down. <clears throat> oh. Hmm. What? Is he gonna do parachute in? What? Oh no, you didn't get an answer. Well, you'll learn. What's she doing in the middle of the river? <laughs> Okay, come on, open the parachute. Oh, <laughs> wait. Oh, it's a glider, not a parachute, okay. Yeah, makes sense, this is Rupan, you know. Oh, wait, that's not how you use a glider. 
Okay, there you go. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> That's an entrance. Wow, it's dark as hell here. Ooh. Damn, yes. <laughs> it's leg strength. <laughs> oh, thank God you stopped. <laughs> hmm. Okay, okay, hopefully no traps await. Ah, I've spoke too soon. Oh my god, this is... Ooh. That's a huge... Crocodile. Three scores, miles and... Oh, that's... Okay. Yeah. That's how you can... Bypass the traps. Wait, give a little tap and see if it is. Uh, there you go. Oh, oh, okay. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. okay. Ooh. Okay, what's in there? What? Whoa, what? Wait, is she a god or something? A goddess? Like, she was talk like they're talking like, about gods and goddesses. Like you know how the gods come in a comet and look at the gold. Maybe she's a goddess herself or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Okay, she's not a goddess, but. A Is this vessel by itself? Every 76 years I awaken and wander the earth. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Ah, hallucinations. But I'm guessing the thing that they she said was the truth. Mm hmm. Ooh, what's that? Oh. oh my god. Hmm. Oh, there you go. A secret tunnel or underground compartment. Oh. Oh, this is a lion that he has always been painting, that guy. Uh, what was his name? I forgot. Um, 
How are you even supposed to take this? Like, uh, okay, there you go. Takara, <laughs> takara. Ah, oh, success. There you go. Ooh. My God. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Okay. Nice. My God. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, that was what I was thinking. Like, you know, this might happen. Oh, like he did the hard work and now they're going to. No. Oh. I'm sure he has some tricks up his sleeves. Let's see. Wait, that's a golden bullet? Oh. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> there you go. Oh, nice! You took that as well. Good. <laughs> it's flying. It's, it seems as if it's flying in that. <laughs> Damn. That kite has... Immense strength, I have to say, it's not. <laughs> yeah. That's, I was thinking, like, they were saying, like, thousands of tons or something. <laughs> oh! Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Okay, ooh. Yeah, who was that? Huh. Yeah, I was thinking, yeah, there you go. Did she get the... Yeah, I think she got it. It must be underneath the hay bale, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh, Rosetta. Wait, so they were working together or something? Wait, so, okay, isn't she supposed to be the... What's that really a hallucination? Like, you know, like, she said that she was the uh, person sent by the god here. The old Rosetta. Or the young Rosetta. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. Ah. Uh. Oh wow, no, those are not vehicles.
Yo, these ladies are crazy. Um. Oh. <laughs> Walk and go. Wow. Great. Wait, they had. Okay. Well, unfortunately, we don't have it. Oh no. Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh no, this is the one of the ladies, isn't it? Okay. Ah, boy. Oh, whoa, what? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Okay, well, that's another way to <sighs> God All right Ooh. Whoa. Oh, okay. Wait. Wait, how did he understand that from the outside? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, who is... Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> God. Oh boy. Oh. 
Oh. Wait, what? Oh my god, it transformed into a... Uh, yeah. It's like a... <laughs> wow. I don't think so. Mm. Oh. Yeah, they don't float. Unfortunately. Mm. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh my god, wait, what? Okay, I, I, I thought they were coming back or something. <laughs> What was she doing? Like, <laughs> what's up with Rosetta? Like, <laughs> oh boy. <sighs> Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, this. Yeah, I was thinking like that's probably not everything. That's like a. Oh, okay. Oh my God, is, is this? Yeah. Is that guy, I can't remember his name, most probably. Oh no. Yeah, no. No question asked, just like take it. What? Oh no, she got shot. Okay. Wait, what happened to Rosetta? Um. <laughs> this guy. Oh, it's like Kowalski. Why do you care? You got your stuff. Oh god. <laughs> ah nice. They won't listen. They they'll, they'll try to bite off more than they can take. And then they're going to What's wrong with this guy? My god. Oh. 
Uh, my God, what is? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh! Hmm. Oh, it's even uh, more underground. Ooh. Ah, there they are. Hmm. Oh wait, did they find it? Oh. That was quick. What? Oh, circular manner. Okay, okay. So that was a pattern. Like I was saying, like that might might be a pattern, you know. Hmm. Transport intact from Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We know that they're going to come. Ah. Oh, he's talking about that. I thought he was talking about those people. Oh. Twenty-five hours. Wait, what's going to happen when it comes close to the earth? Uh, that's a lot of gold. All right. <laughs> Why?
Yeah. Yeah, it's impossible to take so much gold back with them. <laughs> they themselves are like, okay, there you go. So there's a lot more left. Like they can, I don't know, the other people can come and. Who knows? They're rich. What? Oh no. Oh god, yeah, they're waiting here. Ah, can we get some little peace? Oh, nice. Yes. <laughs> Wait, what's she doing? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh! Ha! Look at that! She's not here, I think. They did not change the password. I thought they would. <laughs> Maybe it's kind of difficult to change the password or something. I don't know. Whoa, what the? Ah, oh, God. I think this guy is being controlled somehow. Like, you know, like, uh, Kowalski is the original person who's, like, you know, kind of making everyone dance in the, in the palm of his hand. Like he's just a puppet, that, that guy. <laughs> hmm. I knew it. There you go. He was just a puppet. You know, like, uh, oh my god, it's poisoned. Uh. Mm. Yeah, he was too much of a, what can I say, like, like, he really did not seem as the leader material, you know, the guy, uh, Marciano. And this guy was kind of like the main one calling the shots. And as soon as we saw that him kind of, okay. Okay. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Damn, the current. Oh. 
Wow. <laughs> yeah. And there she is, I think. Yeah, I'm also kind of. Oh, okay. Whoa. <laughs> he dropped it. <laughs> oh, and it, it crashed. And I think. Yeah, it got buried underground. He liked it. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Ah. He needs help us. God. Oh, Lord. Oh, that's painful. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> it's like jumping from one water <laughs> like some video game uh you know logic here <laughs> one water <laughs> oh my god wait what wait he wears a wig or was that like a Oh my god, oh no, I, I think it's... <laughs> He's stupid or what? He's he was using the thing that Lupin gave him. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, reset time is here. Alice Comet. Oh. Wait a minute, this is this is an UFO. So they're aliens or something like okay that makes sense that aliens have come to actually take the <clears throat> my god look at that oh
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Belongs to me. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, that's a great way to boost. Oh, wow, boost oneself up. They also got on to, on top of those. Ooh. There you go. <laughs> nah, that was funny. Okay, there she is. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. He said she said, you know, thank you, that's why. <laughs> so how? Oh. Just like carrying it. Yeah, she, he's a person. Oh. oh my god, this is going to be. Ah. Oh my god, is this going to crash on the ground or something? Oh, the torn. Oh, they, they carved it completely. No. Oh. <laughs> it's been raining gold. It'll be raining gold. Oh my god. People can get hurt? Like, you know, these are like big chunks of gold. Oh my god. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and she went away. Wait, so she, her main purpose uh, taking the gold back it was well not it was not fulfilled that means, isn't it? Okay, these become small chunks now, like, this won't hurt people. It'll be just like raining, like, you know, gold or something. <laughs> Fujiko is not happy. Ah, well, Zenigata is here. <laughs> no. Oh, okay, that works. <laughs> hmm. 
Oh god. Wait. Oh yeah. 76 years. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, is that it? Yeah, okay. Okay, that was good. Like, like, I thought it would be like, you know, like, I also saw that uh, some people in the, like, you know, like ratings in the reviews, they said that this is not so good and stuff. I really enjoyed that. Like, why? That was great. Like, <laughs> I don't know. So, <laughs> oh my God. Like, obviously, like, like, maybe it is a little bit, like, you know, like, as I said, like, not as strong as the other ones. But for me, like, you know, for me, I, I liked it pretty well. And definitely, this is not deserving of 6.5. In, in my anime list, it is in 6.5. Like, usually, like, people like me who usually do not, like, you know, have not watched some anime or something. And we want to watch some anime. We, like, go to the... Like at least I, you know, go to my anime list and check out the ratings and stuff and like see how people are like rated it or watched it. But like I know this, like my anime list rating is completely, I don't know, like, like absurd. Like it's absurd. Like the trashiest anime has higher ratings whereas great animes have like six or five ratings. I've seen that. Like I don't know what people do when they rate there. But definitely, this is not at all deserving 6.5 rating. I, I think it's at least deserving 7.5, you know, maybe 8, an 8 rating. Because I really enjoyed it. And Castle of Cagliostro, I think for me, it's like 9.5 or 9 rating. Um, uh, Mamo, uh, it'll probably be an 8.5 rating and this will be an 8. Like, at least according to me and my ratings. But 6.5 is absurd, like what the hell, like I don't know, like I don't know what people do when they go and rate in my anime list, like ugh, I don't know, anyways, like it, it, it really, like I at least find it really extremely weird when people become too critical of stuff like this, like you know, like oh this person didn't breathe right, so yeah, like this is a, this is a bad show, like that type of like mentality where people like rate stuff in anime, I've seen that. And it's absurd, like anime is something, at least I, like, you know, my take on these type of, like, you know, shows, animes and stuff, is that it's just here to, like, you know, make you enjoy it and not to become, like, you know, be an elitist and rate it for the, like, smallest of mistakes that it had made. Like, that takes out the enjoyment and what is the purpose you're watching anime for, in my opinion. Like, if you, if you like, start, like, acting like a school teacher and start rating and, like, you know, numbering stuff that, oh, this thing... Uh, this, this small little thing in the 45 minute episode, this one minute thing, that was not good at all. So it gets a uh, five, you know, this type of a mentality. It's absurd to me. Like, I really, I really don't get it. So like, I don't know, like people like, you know, like different people, like whatever floats their boat, I guess. But, but at least for me, like, you know, it's just like anime is just there to make you like, you know, enjoy yourself, entertain you, yourself. And you should definitely not take these type of things. So seriously that you are just overly critical of stuff like maybe it's just me i don't know so but anyways like you know this is definitely not deserving of a 6.5 rating like at least for me like i give it an 8 like and I, as i usually like you know rate stuff a little bit higher uh i'm guessing uh for uh, like you know for other people who like a, a decent enough uh rating for this show would be a 7.5 for, but for me it's an 8 because I usually rate stuff a little bit higher. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, okay, so that was... Uh, maybe, you know, I, I think like that one thing might be the problem for, of this show. Maybe, like, you know, maybe the original Rupan series, like, since I've not watched the anime, you know, maybe the actual anime is so good 
that people actually like you know like compared this movie to the original anime series or something and that's why people like you know rated it low maybe that's the case that might be the case i think because since i'm watching the movies at the beginning you know and i've not watched the anime um like you know this is like my first experience of lupan and it's so great and but like you know like people i'm guessing people who have watched the anime maybe the anime was so good that this kind of fades in comparison to them so that so in comparison to the anime people are actually rating it that might be the case you know i think so because like this happens like you know like when i was i remember when i was new to anime um <laughs> even the bad shows that i watched i was like oh my god what is this, this is so good this is an 8.5 or this is a 9 out of 10 but now like you know if i if i'm told to rate those same animes i'll probably give it a 7 or something so oh, that happens like you know as as you watch stuff your expectations can kind of go higher so at least for lupan i'm pretty new to this and that's why like you know everything that i'm watching is like from a fresh perspective that's why i'm loving it so much but for people i'm guessing who watched the original anime before maybe the anime was so good that they're comparing this to the anime and that's why they're saying like nah this is not good that's probably it i think so otherwise it it does not really answer my like you know like it's really weird to see that it has so low ratings because this is a very like fairly enjoyable uh, movie i really liked it and uh, <clears throat> yeah okay so <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> okay so here uh we go to uh, for the uh, gold of um babylon you know to uh, for the treasure and like one thing i'm kind of noticing here is this is like a thing i'm guessing of the rupan shows is usually <laughs> Fujiko is at the beginning of all, all the time is kind of at the enemy side you know in a way and she usually like it's, it's like a trick that she uses to actually get what she wants and if somehow she fails in that she jumps into Rupan's team <laughs> and then when Rupan's Rupan gets the thing you know she kind of like you know tricks Rupan to actually take it for herself and sometimes you like you know doing that while trying to do that she herself messes up and Rupan kind of comes to save her again <laughs> so she's kind of like a, a, a person like that i'm guessing like you know like uh, like who tricks like in, in the beginning she usually tricks all the characters like the enemies you know like she acts as if she is their ally but by the end of it she tricks them and tries to take everything for herself so <laughs> like this show uh, and this movie i think um, mamo yeah mamo mamo as well it was a similar thing like that caliostro mm, kind of i think because she was you know in disguise and act you know so it was kind of like that but uh, mamo and this one like that clearly shows that in the beginning she like you know she's kind of like playing playing the enemy and like you know kind of tricking them and then later on she <laughs> tricks them back and like you know kind of tries to take everything for herself and uh, yeah okay uh, anyways so yeah this uh, movie here so Okay, one thing I the like, kind of that I'm kind of confused about. It wasn't Rosetta supposed to take the gold with her, so she was she was unable to fulfill her mission that way. I think, isn't it? Like you know when like Rupan like uh, slashed that uh, candle bara. I think that's what it's called. And uh, excuse me, everything started trum uh, you know, tumbling down. and then got like you know slash the whole gold pieces so that means she failed that means uh yeah she, they said like she'll come back after 76 years so i'm guessing she'll come back and try to gain the gold for herself as well and another thing that i was really confused about why did she say that i you know i i really love you or something like that to rupan like is there like a back story or something like maybe in the anime you know because it seemed as if rupan already know that knew that lady rosetta because you know like in the beginning when we see um yeah like in the beginning when rosetta like lupan was in that uh, costume and he gets kind of flung around rosetta comes and i think lupan says something like oh it's like uh, old lady rosetta how are you or something like that she said so that means she knew her from the beginning so most probably like you know she, maybe she she came in the anime or something i don't know i'm not sure but they knew each other so i'm guessing there was something uh like you know like that probably 
uh, made Rosetta like him so much that he said something like, I, like, you know, like I thought about not like, you know, you know, uh, but I have to go, like, you know, I really love you, but I have to go. Like she said something like that to Dupan. So I'm guessing something made her really like him or something. I don't know. <clears throat> so because not only that, like we, like we can see from the beginning, like uh, of the episode, uh, not episode, the movie that she really was fond of him in a way. So who knows? And uh, okay, and okay, what else? <clears throat> All right, so here the few things I kind of was able to pick up. Like the first thing was the pattern, like you know when they were like showing everything. I I kind of thought that maybe it has like you know it's, it has some kind of a pattern there. And the thing that Rosetta was saying, the the uh, mm, the poem that she was a poem or song, I'm not sure what that was, but that she was singing, you know. So that was also a hint. Like I thought, like maybe that's some kind of a hint, and it was actually a hint to uh, evade the traps. So that was that. Uh, I'm and the <clears throat> the pattern was also kind of a hint, and it was really unusual when he found the golden lion. Because, like, you know, like, I also thought that this, this probably isn't it. Like, this is too small of a thing to be actually called a treasure. And since there is, was an actual treasure there, that means there must be another treasure which is something of a huge scale. Because they were talking about thousands of, uh, like, you know, tons or something of gold. And, like, this is just a little lion, golden lion. And... Um, I kind of feel uh, a bit sorry for uh, what was his name? Mm, Marciano? Yeah, I think that was his name uh, for him because uh, it really seemed as if he was very like brutally tricked by Kowalski. Wait, now one thing. Uh, okay, uh, let me talk about that first. He was brutally uh, tricked by Kowalski as he was basically like you know trying like not trying but tricked him to actually uh, i'm guessing he just needed uh, marciano for his wealth you know and he just used him because he himself had the wealth and had the manpower so as soon as they got hold of the gold he just killed him like that and like that's like you know like i was really unable to uh, figure that out by the uh, like you know at the beginning but as soon as we saw that he started crying, like, you know, and saying like, mama, like, you know, I'm sorry or something like that. He, he was, he was crying and kill him, kill him. I don't like it or something like that. Uh, like, you know, like I realized that, oh my God, like he is probably being used as a puppet by, um, Kowalski. And yeah, that was what it was. And I'm, I'm guessing Fujiko also wasn't able to really pick up on that because she also seemed very surprised when he started crying like that and uh, yeah it's kind of sad because it's just that he he was tricked and he the Kowalski guy took advantage of his vulnerability uh, of not having a no not having a proper what can I say idea of what to do in these type of situations and he just betrayed him like that and kill him like that's even worse than that <clears throat> and uh, okay and oh okay one thing um Kowalski <laughs> yeah um, um I'm sure it's like a <laughs> like, you know, it's 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 a, it's, a, it's probably a name common name but <laughs> it really reminded me of the meme, uh, you know, the meme, Kowalski analysis, <laughs> as soon as I heard that name. And I think there was another thing, like, obviously, this, like, this, is, this has this come out long before Kowalski analysis meme. <laughs> I know that, like, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that it just reminded me of that. And um, one thing that also, I'm think, I think that was like a little uh, wordplay that they did, that whole thing with Willy and Chin. You know, if you know what I mean, it's like the... <laughs> I'm guessing it's like a pun or wordplay on the main male genitalia that they did like chin you know in Japanese 
it means uh, you know what, what I'm trying to say and Willy as well so was that like a little wordplay that they did I don't know maybe <laughs> like in the beginning when they said like their name was Willy and Chin I was like what the hell <laughs> oh my god I think that was deliberate I'm not sure but you know <clears throat> and uh, oh another thing uh, we saw like uh, uh, Z uh, what was his name Goemon 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 uh, actually really got interested in the the lady one of the, uh, the ladies the lady from China I forgot her name so maybe like you know this would like be a continuation or something you know maybe in the future they'll meet again or something I don't know uh like if this was like an like you know usually uh like anime movies most of them are non-canon uh, you can non-canon so i'm not sure of what l l the lupan movies are are these canon like you know are these really in the actual uh what do you call it you know story or is this just like a non-canonical movie or something as like you know like for example <clears throat> For example, Naruto movies. Like, you know, most of the Naruto movies are non-canonical. Like you know, the characters on all of them, like, most of them, and not only Naruto movies, a lot of other like you know, main big series movies that they have. Most of them are not canon. So like, if, if these movies are not canon, then probably they'll never meet again in the future. I think. Who knows? But uh, like, I don't know. I'm sure like you know, the anime has more answers for that. <clears throat> Okay, and uh, <clears throat> okay, what else? Okay, so now here's another thing the whole thing with God and aliens. Now, <clears throat> like at the beginning, I was like when they were talking about God and they were saying, like, <clears throat> you know, the God took, like, Rupan was explaining it, you know, the God took the gold and, like, you know. <laughs> took it with uh, uh, you know God and <laughs> Tsujuko was like why does God need gold and Lupin was like oh maybe maybe to buy stuff or something <laughs> so like now then when I, we realized that it was not actually God but like you know alien like some kind of an uh, extraterrestrial beings so now here I can kind of understand like it, it usually like you know like I know that it's kind of like a, a very weird concept like thinking about like yeah god needs gold like that in itself is such a weird thing to actually hear like as soon as rupan said that god also needs gold i was like why no but then as soon as we got to know that it was actually aliens i was like okay okay that makes sense no like the whole concept of god actually need uh, needing mm, uh, mm, what are they called materialistic possessions of humans it that thing in itself is a very weird concept so like you know like just like how fujiko was really surprised fujiko also asked that why would god need gold like you know <laughs> i will i also had the same question and <clears throat> in a way like you know like we like we still don't have any knowledge of what actually god is like you know there's a lot of um, like unknown mysteries in the world i think there are some type of uh what do you call it mm, i'm not sure some type of a theory I, I don't know like I've, I've heard it somewhere like theory that someone said that gods are actually some kind of an alien being or something and there's a lot of like you know way people can interpret god and like that's also why i'm guessing they kind of use that here i'm guessing like you know the aliens like and then later on they said that oh the god was the alien actually so in a way it's kind of like that but still the whole concept of god actually needing these type of things that we humans need like you know as mat these materialistic things it in itself is such a weird concept that i myself and fujiko was really surprised when rupan said that god needs the gold and like you know then like you know when we saw that it was actually not god and it was just like some aliens who was who were calling themselves god i was like okay like okay this makes more sense and who knows like as i said like you know god is still a very um what can i say like unknown thing concept and uh, there's a lot of interpretations and a lot of way people actually you know look at god like so many different cultures so many different ways people actually look at god so like you know there are a lot of theories a lot of things so that in itself i'm guessing uh you know like was something here that like you know like the aliens and the gods here i don't know but 
that thing and it kind of <clears throat> was really fascinating to see that uh we still like by the end of it we still don't know like what rosetta actually was like she was a supernatural being in a way you know and she has been here for so long and so she's kind of like a god like you know a, 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 a type of a, like a divine entity a divine being or something but at the same time like you know she was like <laughs> came in a flying saucer so that in itself kind of screams like you know aliens so <laughs> it was interesting like you know like very what can i say interesting thing but yeah now okay what else Oh, oh, also another thing. <laughs> I've seen this again, like, you know, in, in, I think it was in Mamo as well. Zenigata, the, uh, Zenigata had a very uh, less amount of screen time in this movie, eh? like, as far as I saw. But, you know, Zenigata, <laughs> I've seen this always, every time, whenever, like, you know, like, Fujiko and Rupan is kind of having a moment, he comes in crashing. <laughs> In Mamo as well, if you guys remember, um, the <laughs> when the whole place was kind of like you know like there was like uh, <laughs> attacking and everything, the place like everyone like was launching missiles. Zenigata was there, and Zenigata like you know like leg cuffed him to himself, and Fujiko was also there. And now here again, like you know like <laughs> like as soon as like you know, they're kind of like floating down, and in comes Zenigata out of nowhere. <laughs> my god it's like a <laughs> i'm guessing like it's like a kind of like a funny thing uh, I'm i'm going to like you know kind of keep an eye out for in the future movies as well like if zenigata again kind of crashes in into like you know <laughs> rupan and fujiko whenever they're kind of having a moment so yeah i'll keep an eye out for that in the upcoming movies <clears throat> And uh, yeah, that was it. That was very. I, I can I can say like um, I like that. I like the movie kind of quite a bit. And uh, they kind of like you know went from one place to another. Like you know they were in New York. They went to Babylon and you know like all that that stuff. So and these type of things are kind of fascinating for me because I'm kind of uh, you know I, I really like these type of. Uh, what do you call these adventure type of a thing where like you know they kind of go in a treasure hunt or something you know um, these type of things kind of fascinate me so i think it kind of gets a few bonus points from from me because the theme of the movie in itself was something that i myself really like you know this type of an adventure type of thing like uh, like you know you start uh, like you know try to find a treasure buried down underneath and there's like you know various type of um you know uh what do you call it problems on the way and <laughs> you fight your way and get the treasure unfortunately they was they were unable to get the treasure but still like, you know they were able to like you know kind of get it in a way and i wonder what happened to the gold like you know it 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 became like small little pieces and started raining down i'm guessing it was like a rain of gold and people went crazy i'm guessing who were Oh, maybe, no, no, wait a minute. I think they were on top of a ocean, wasn't they? Like when, uh, when the gold was falling, just a sec. Yeah, they were on top of an ocean. Okay, okay, wait a minute. Okay, it, the whole thing starts breaking. Yeah, I think they're, yeah, they are on top of an ocean. Yeah, yeah, they are on top of an ocean. So, okay, I was thinking like, like you know, like, uh, it was going to like start raining and people like you were going to see like, you know, gold raining from the top and they were going to go crazy trying to <laughs> take up the gold or something. But they're on top of an ocean. So all the gold went into the ocean and it's going to get like, you know, so, like, swept around by the current somewhere else and some will probably sink like the pieces which are a little bit heavier they're going to sink underneath wow and i'm guessing okay now this 
this will probably like become a whole thing like people are obviously like notice this like you know like gold f falling from the sky now into the ocean now this is probably like make people like start going into the ocean and trying to find gold like you know maybe uh, the next day people will like you know come to the ocean and not ocean but the sea beach and they'll find like gold lying around in the water and they'll start like collecting it or something and uh, it kind of reminds me of another thing like you know like there's this i think like this an anime where i saw like there was like this type of a um, rumor not a rumor but a thing uh, that um there was like gold in some kind of uh, like you know there was like gold were being found in rivers and everything and people like you know used to kind of use those type of uh, what do you call them those things to kind of like look for gold and they kind of like use that on the water and gold used to get stuck in the net or something and they used to take the gold and uh, oh i remember where the, it was from it was from golden kamui you know the whole like you know uh, finding gold in the water so it kind of reminds me of that like uh, probably people will start like <laughs> going to the like you know sea beach and start trying to find gold maybe people will like you know like uh, who has a uh, more money they'll like rent a big boat or something like hire some professionals like go scuba diving or something and try to find gold and stuff like this whole thing will start i'm guessing and then I'm, I'm thinking there'll probably be a lot more gold which people won't be able to find you know maybe they're like deep underneath or something and i'm guessing after uh, how many years 70 i think two what did they say i forgot uh like Haley's comment just a second let me just check um how many years do they come 76 76 years so after 76 years uh i'm guessing uh rosetta will come again and she'll try to find that gold and this time i think this will be even more uh, like you know more problematic for her because it's like all scattered around what will she even do then <laughs> i don't know and uh yeah, and at that time, Rupan would probably be how how old is Rupan now? How old is Rupan? Let me check. How old is Rupan? Uh, twenty to thirty years. Damn, he'll be like <laughs> ninety-five or something at that time. Not 95, he'll be 100. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Ah, uh, yeah. Anyways. And yeah, by the end of it, Zenigata also tries to catch Rupan again. Unfortunately, Fujiko. <laughs> Fujiko. <laughs> uh, kind of, like, you know, makes it so that he is unable to catch him. And. Uh, yeah so, so that was it that was this movie and um let me just check if there's something i missed which i which i need to talk about just a sec no i don't think anything else that was it Okay, then, oh, at the beginning, you know, um, Marciano, at the beginning, uh, I really don't, not like him, but obviously, like, he, he is, like, an antagonistic character, so, like, you are definitely not supposed to like him, you know, that kind of defeats the purpose of it, but, you know, like, obviously, like, just like all the other antagonistic characters, uh, I really did not like him that much because of, you know, mm, the whole thing where she said that I am like you know I'm going to get my hand on that gold but by the end of it he basically snatches it from Lupin you know and that thing kind of like you know like made me feel like like what's the point of it then like you know like you, you just used your money to get it like that doesn't make you accomplished enough to, that you actually got the gold you can brag about it that yeah I got the gold you, know, you just snatched it from someone else you just uh, you know snatch it from someone else who did the hard work which was Rupan. So, like, that in itself was kind of, like, you know, like, I did not like that. But by the end of it, like, I, I could see, like, you know, like, he, he was just a manipulated character. 
and kind of is sad that he dies by the end of it because i don't know like it, it, it it's really sad to actually like you know whenever we see that a character was actually manipulated and they like by the end of it they get betrayed and killed you know like however of a douchebag he was in the beginning you know whenever something like that happens it kind of makes us feel sad for that character because like just like i don't know like the fact that he got played by someone else like he did everything he did the dirty work he did everything and by the end of it some other side character like stabs him in the back and gets everything from him and kills him or something that in itself is a very what can i say a sad thing even though they are the antagonistic characters of the show so by the end of it obviously like started feeling uh what can i say pity yeah pity for him because by his behavior we can also see one thing that he he really was not matured enough as well like he just grew in age like the this is like a child in his inner self like he when he when, when we saw he started crying and everything and he's like oh no kill him kill him kill him i don't want to see him kill him started freaking out like you know like started acting like you know like i kind of like now that i look at it you know i can kind of see the little hints of her his personality from the beginning where like you know he was really what can i say um, competitive in a way and kind of in a, in a what do you call it like you know like little kids how they become very like you know jealous and competitive about stuff you know and that type of a like you know attitude he had and i can kind of see it now like when you know when we saw you know it's as if he wants everything but he doesn't know the way to do that and you know and he, whenever he doesn't get anything he throws a tantrum that type of, of personality so most that's most probably because he like you know like after i'm guessing his dad uh died or something he i'm guessing uh kowalski came in and he started hatching a plan of oh how can i use this boy you know like i'll i'll act like his parental figure i'll act like his uh like you know um what do you call it right hand man and i'll use his money to and i'll like you know kind of um put things in his head like oh you should do it like this give him advice and as soon as i have finished using him you know i i use his money everything to get the gold i'll snatch the gold and backstab him and then i'll be the king something like that i'm i'm sure he thought of it like that like you know this whole thing like we've seen this in a lot of animes and not only in this like i think like there are a lot of animes where like this this usually happens in uh, animes where there's like a king you know like a little boy who is the king of a nation and that person always has someone in his back like you know kind of standing there and like you know kind of uh, acting as a uh, guardian of that king but in like you know in behind everyone's back he is just controlling the king like a puppet um another anime that i remember that had a thing like that was i think it was akame ga kill and there is a lot of animes like that as well where usually the characters you know they are basically controlled like a puppet by some some other character and it's a really what can i say a sad thing where basically everything like you know like the, the main thing that really is disgusting about this whole thing is the, the actual bad guy he's not get, getting his hands dirty he's using another character to get his hands dirty you know to do the bad deed and by the end of it you know he's going to backstab him and take everything for himself so basically someone else does the dirty job and he gets the um you know result of it like that's the thing that's one of the most disgusting things you know because it like getting your hands dirty in itself is a big deal like, you know like that in itself is such a bad thing like like there are obviously a lot of villain characters that we love you know why do we love them you know there's a lot of characters i can't like you know remember but there are definitely a lot of characters like you know uh villain characters antagonistic characters that we really love why do we love them actually because of because they're cool definitely obviously uh because of something else because of the charisma yes but the main thing for them is that 
they get their hands dirty you know and they like you know like they they don't run away from their like you know the things that they're doing they know that they are, i'm doing a bad thing that in itself is a very what can i say attractive thing for us as audience that where we can see that like he's not afraid of getting his hands dirty like getting one's hands dirty is one of the biggest things of these like you know type of characters like they're not afraid of that they are they don't shy away from that they know that they're doing a bad thing they know that they themselves are bad but they know that there's you know like they're aware of that but these characters like you know who usually backstabs uses others and uses them as a puppet they they just manipulate people and they just like you know take all the good things for themselves without getting their hands dirty that's a disgusting thing in my opinion so yeah like but and the, the victim here is obviously uh Machiano because he did everything in a way he like you know like kind of got his hands dirty in a lot of ways but by the end of it he just dies gets betrayed so it's kind of sad you know so yeah anyways all right that was it and again like you know fujiko <laughs> like it's a weird thing you know like <laughs> She does all of this stuff, but I don't know why, like, you know, yeah, like, you can't hate her. I think that's like the main, what can I say, main thing about her character, like, like she does so much things, like, you know, tricks Rupan, you know, kind of works with the enemies, uh, tricks Rupan again, and like, <laughs> but still, by the end of it, you know, you really can't hate her, at least for me, like, you know, boy. <laughs> okay. Oh, another thing, I was quite surprised here, like, I think in, in Mamo, uh, Jigen and uh, Goemon, they were v like very opposed to Rupan actually working with him. Uh, with Fujiko but here like when like I was thinking like they're going to oppose that like when Fujiko was like you know sitting on the car in the car and they were at the back seat you know and she, Fujiko was talking with Rupan I was thinking they were going to oppose that or to say something like why are you working with this uh, woman again he's going to tr she's going to trick you and like you know like like but they said nothing I was really you know I, I was really surprised at that I was like what like why like I, it would have made sense if this was something that happened before Mamo, but I think Mamo happened before this, didn't it? So, did they start trusting her again or something? I don't know. Maybe. So, yeah. Anyways, okay, that was it. Look, okay, I've been talking about this for quite a long while. And yeah, as always, like the comedy was hilarious and it was funny, quirky and unusual like I, I can i can see the pattern of lupan uh you know like the comedy is very unpredictable it's funny like i really love the the portions where um you no know, it's like a whole thing like uh, that you see in those um you know the cartoons that we saw when we were uh, you know younger like tom and jerry uh, i think the, the looney tunes was also there there's like a lot of other shows uh, that i like you know watched when i was a kid and like you know the whole thing where like you know like where we saw like they were like kind of <laughs> like, you know, kind of doing a chase like Zenigata and Rupan. There was this, there was a scene where like you know he kind of like takes a dynamite and puts it on the um, rope and sends it to Rupan. And Rupan kind of shows the like, you know reverse sign and the dynamite kind of goes like you know back and goes back to Zenigata. That was a full like you know Tom and Jerry scene in my like you know as, <laughs> like that happens in like. Like those the, the the shows that I used to watch during when I was a child, you know, like that type of thing, and like that was hilarious. I really loved that. <laughs> like it, it it has it makes no sense, but it is funny, and I think that was like the main uh, thing about this this show. This this show had a lot of things like that, you know, the whole thing like when they were like, uh, like you know, running around in the eyes of that uh, the big like statue thing. And then the dynamite scene and then there's this another scene i think in the mid air when Rupan kind of like you know jumps and kind of like you know swims around and in the air and catches on into the airplane that was another scene which was kind of like the like, you know really funny like you know unusual weird thing but it's funny and hilarious 
uh like you know where in those in those cartoons where you, t- you used to see like where i think there was like this scene before i don't can't remember the show but there was this one person or some, something who started running and was like you know in the middle of the sky and you know the effect that they use at, at that time like you know this time kind of stops and they kind of look down and they understand that they're going to fall and then they start to like try to run you know in the middle of the sky to get back to the land but they're unable to do so and they fall down that type of an effect like that type of a comedic effect so that scene completely had and it really reminded me of that and when i used to watch those type of shows when i was a kid you know uh yeah fun days (laughs) boy so yeah okay Uh, so yeah that was like the main thing of the comedy here and uh, it has it has a nice nice story and uh, yeah i like that so definitely this is not something that i would rate so low you know 6.5 definitely not i'll probably rate it 7.5 or 8 kind of like that so yeah like i enjoyed myself and i think uh the next one which i'm going to react to next week is uh rupan 3 uh the fuma conspiracy fuma ichizoku no imbo and <clears throat> I'm going to react to that and this has quite a high rating this has like a 7.3 rating on my anime list so i'm guessing this is going to be even better than this i'm looking forward to that so yeah so yeah guys that was it thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to lupan 3 babylon no ogon densetsu or the gold of babylon uh, the legend of the gold of babylon so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed next week i'm going to put out another lupan uh, movie reaction so definitely subscribe and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know uh, you know if i if i uh, got something wrong or something like you know if i was unable able to understand some kind of inside jokes or stuff because i've obviously not watched the anime let me know in the comment section if i missed something so yeah so yeah guys that was it and uh, thank you guys for watching so next week i'm going to do as i said uh, fuma ichizoku no imbo or the fuma conspiracy so see you guys then until then goodbye and have a nice day